Rebuilding the 100. 100. Elect Thomas W. Dortch Jr. for chair. I want to emphasize, when I was the national chairman of 100 Black Men of America, I was fortunate to have Al Dotson as the vice chair, and Al worked in partnership with me. I was able to go out and seek a lot of financial support and to look at foundations and resources to train chapters, and I had a person I could depend on. And then Al Dotson was elected as your national chair. And he had a great assistant by the name of Curly Dossman, who worked with him and was there to help lighten the load for him. And then we elected Curly Dossman. Curly's a very competent leader in the foundation industry, heads up one of the largest um, sectors of one of the largest corporations in the country. But we have to remember that a national chairman can't do it all. We're at a point now where we've had a little mission drift. We haven't taken care of the home as we should have, and so our chapters are not as strong as they should be. And so we have to get back to basics. And that's what I'm running for, to help us get back to basics, to rebuild our, and strengthen our foundation, to help us focus on our core value system and on our core mission for this organization, and to work with members throughout this country. My first time around as chair, I visited every chapter of the 100 Black Men of America. Many of you said you haven't seen the leadership in your community. I don't care your size. I don't care where you're located. You're a part of the 100 Black Men of America. And we have to be there to support you. I'm not running for a title. I'm running for the future of 100 Black Men of America. Thomas W. Dorch Jr. for chair.